What if we launched our trash to the sun? We all know that humanity produces tons of waste that has to be processed somehow. Plastic, electronic junk, radioactive material, things that, well, we don't really want to have on Earth. The sun, on the other hand, is a giant, searing hot ball of plasma, already busy incinerating everything in its core at millions of degrees. Surely it wouldn't mind a little extra garbage, right? It seems like a perfect solution. Just load up a rocket, aim for the sun, and let gravity do the work. Unfortunately, that's not how orbits work. In fact, it is incredibly difficult to hit the sun with a rocket at all. Earth is moving at about 30 kilometers per second around the sun. If you want to throw something into the sun, you don't just point a rocket at it and fire. That's like trying to drop a bowling ball straight down while running sideways at a highway speed. The ball isn't going to fall straight, it's going to keep moving forward. To actually reach the sun, you need to cancel out Earth's orbital velocity, which means slowing down by 30 kilometers per second. Only then can your garbage rocket fall straight into the sun, but 30 kilometers a second is a lot. For comparison, launching something into space requires a speed of about 8 kilometers per second. Leaving our solar system requires about 11. That means that it is much harder to crash into the sun than to just escape the solar system altogether. So, it isn't impossible, but it's expensive. Our best rockets, the kind that launch interplanetary missions, can't even come close. The Parker Solar Probe, one of the fastest spacecraft ever built, needed multiple gravity assists from Venus just to get close to the sun, and even then, it's not actually falling in, it's just skimming the surface. So, as you can see, the real problem here has nothing to do with the garbage, but with the fact that we wouldn't reach the sun in the first place. But don't worry, our thought experiment only really begins here. Let's say we somehow solve that problem. Maybe we develop incredibly powerful rockets. Would dumping our waste into the sun then be a good idea? On the plus side, the sun is a fantastic incinerator. Plastic and toxic chemicals would literally just get vaporized. Radioactive waste would still be radioactive, but at least it's inside a star now, far away from anything it could harm. However, the cost would be astronomical, literally. Every launch would require massive amounts of fuel, complex engineering, and billions of dollars. A single SpaceX Falcon 9 launch costs tens of millions, and it can carry only about 20 tons to low Earth orbit. That's nowhere near enough capacity to handle the sheer amount of trash we produce. There are also safety concerns. Rockets fail sometimes. If we loaded a rocket full of nuclear waste and it exploded during launch, we'd have a much bigger problem than we started with. A better alternative might be to send our trash somewhere else, maybe the moon or an asteroid, or just out into deep space. As unfortunate as it may be, it is not the solution to our waste problem. Hmm, I just thought of something else. If the sun is too far away, wouldn't the most sun-like thing we have on Earth be a volcano? Why don't we just throw our garbage into that? Coincidentally, I've talked about this very thing before on this channel. Click here and hope to see you around.